Yes. Hello, me. Mr. Delapena. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. I am Jill Reynolds with HEB, oh. and we are here to announce you as a finalist in the HEB Excellence in Education Awards. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> So today we're here to recognize Mr. Della Pena as a finalist in the HEB Excellence in Education Awards program. So his application was actually viewed by several judging panels and they determined that he is an outstanding educator. So we're here today to recognize him and reward him $1,000 and $1,000 for the school and invite him to the statewide competition. So he will be competing against four other teachers in his category and they are competing for $5,000 for themselves and $5,000 for their school. It's a point of pride. I, I make it a point to really, really go above and beyond to make sure that I reach that kid that maybe is slipping through the cracks. I am a special education teacher uh, specifically for specialized support structured communication, which is for students that are autistic and have uh, severe intellectual disabilities. Um, he has a lot of patience for our students and our students love him. Um, he does a lot to go above and beyond to make sure that his students are included with everything that we're doing here at the campus. Let's check the little free library. One of the most recent projects that Mr. De La Peña has been spearheading here at our campus is the concept of literacy and how important literacy is for all of our students. So through his work with Donors Choose, we were granted a little free library, which is located in the front of our campus. It's like a mini Barnes and Nobles for them. Probably have 20 to 30 kids visit the little free library after school, and that's just students. It's open to the entire community. Through, again, his work and the work of his students, all of the Novieros here at our campus are able to um, have access to those books. I want you to know that personally, I appreciate everything you do for my staff and my students and our school community.